munching and crunching and crunching and munching. I don't think he ever stops munching. He's really hungry. Now, watch closely, because very soon... Oh, yes, I know. It's made at Cuckoo. A place where he'll change. A wonder to see. My, oh, my. It's a butterfly and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Growing, Growing together. together with Sea Beebees. Jay, and I'm going to show you ways to make pictures. Now, what shall I use today? Brushes. Now, look at all these fantastic different kinds. We've got big ones, small ones. I think we're going to use this one, first of all. Now, I've got some paint here, dipping it in. So let's make some marks. Oh. Look at that. That's really nice. I think I'll do that again. Hmm. That's very interesting. I think I'll try another brush. This one looks very much like an arty brush. Let's try it out. Oh, that looks lovely. I think I'll do that again. Hmm, they kind of look like flowers, don't they? I know what I'll do. That looks much more like a flower. I'm going to do that again. And put a little colour in the middle. Oh yes, very pretty. Let's do it again. But this time with this brush. Let's see what kind of a mark it makes. Oh, that's lovely. Looks like a tropical flower. Let's try it again. That's very colourful, isn't it? And I think we're going to have to try one of my favourite brushes now. Look at this. It's fat on this side and thin on this side. Let's see what kind of a mark this makes. With the big side. That looks lovely, doesn't it? It looks like the leaves for these flowers. So with the thin side, we can do the stalks. That's really nice, that is. I like that a lot. What do you think? Why don't you try using brushes and see what you can do? Today we've been painting with lots of different sorts of brushes. Have a look in today's Martini's Gallery. Right, today we're going to be painting with different size brushes like I've got here. I've got a very, very thin brush that you might have seen artists using like that one that's Look right this one. that's even thinner isn't it what sort of a line do you think a brush like this is going to make what size line should we have a look and see 
Let's paint the line down there. Oh, <gasps> that's a very thin, a delicate line. line. Well, should we try a bigger line? What about this one? Do you think that'll make a bigger line? Let's have a look. What do you think, Danielle? Should we have a look? Oh, look at that, Drew. That's a big, fat line, isn't it? Can I, can I do it? Go on, then. You dip it in the paint. What sort of a line do you think it'll make first, Rafiq? A fat line. A fat line. Have a go. Let's have a look. Draw a nice straight line. <gasps> wow! Look at the size of that! That's a big fat line, isn't it? Now I've got lots and lots of different size brushes for you. And what I want you to do is paint a picture of your house. to play with the big brush. You've painted your house, but you, there's no room. Because your brush is so big, there's no room on your paper for a roof, is there? So what we could do is get another piece of paper to make your house huge, even bigger, and paint the roof on the top. Is that a good idea? these toothbrushes. toothbrushes and I've got a brilliant way as long as you use old toothbrushes a brilliant way of painting with them and what we're going to do here is make a background for all our houses that we painted earlier yeah oh, this is great isn't it it's really good fun Ellie's been painting herself my word you have been busy we put all the houses together to make a street. Ellie used a big brush for her house. Rafiq chose a smaller brush for his pictures. What time is it now? Tidy up time! It is, we better get busy. Till next time, bye bye! bye, -bye. I'm Kirsten and this is Pattern Palace. Here are my patterns. I like patterns, I like looking at them and I like making them. This pattern looks a little bit like the sea. The big blue pipe cleaners going down and up and down in a line. Lots of rows of blue pipe cleaners. And these are wavy lines. Lots of very thin wavy lines, very close together. And these lines are even closer together. Lots of straight lines crisscrossing in the paint. And these straight lines go all the way down the paint and then there are lots of lines going across the paint. I wonder what patterns I could make with paint. Let's see, I'm going to use this blue paint and put lots of it onto my paper there. And then this is just a kitchen sponge and I'm going to use it to spread my paint across the paper. Oof, look at that. Lovely. There we go. Now, this is a big comb and I wonder what will happen if I use this comb on my paint. Let's see, shall we? If I press hard and move the comb up and down. Look, I'm making the wave pattern. And what about if I go straight down the paper and then across? That's the pattern we saw earlier, isn't it? The crisscross pattern. And if I make a mistake, I can just rub over and start my pattern again. I think I like the wave pattern. Up and down, up and down. Now, what else could I do? Let's use some red paint and lots of green and spread it across again. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Ooh, 
lots of different colours mixed in there. And this time, I think I'll use the end of this old paintbrush. See what happens when I use that. I'm going to do a circle. That looks nice. And a square. All the colours change on the paper as I put my paintbrush through it. What about if I use a smaller paintbrush end? I could do some zigzags along there. Yes, lots of patterns for my pattern palace. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hedgehog! Hey, let's draw our own hedgehog. I'll tell you what, in three different types of pen. Start with this one first. Oh, look, that's a nice thin line. Let's draw some eyes. Some little eyelashes. Oh. There. One, two hedgehogs. Ooh! Big picture! <laughs> We've got our two little hedgehog's noses. Let's use a slightly thicker pen and make the back of the head with this nice orange colour. Whoosh. One, two, let's colour it in a little bit. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. There. Perfect. Ooh, big picture. <laughs> Need the finest final pen, which is the thickest pen. Look at this. Ah, and all you do with this is go whoosh, 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 to give the hedgehog some really spiky spikes. This all over. Look at that. Isn't that great? And the same on the other one. On Mrs. Hedgehog, I should say. Nice big thick strokes like that. And there you have Mr. and Mrs. Hedgehog. Give them two little noses. One, two. Now, why are they together? Because they're in love. Oh, there, finished. Ooh, no, I haven't. Oh. Small picture, big picture. <laughs>